amazing is coming this year. She is coming hard this year. Her tour is selling out. She's going the fuck off. And I don't care what anybody has to say about that. All of her so tours are selling. Thank you and please come again. Uh, I seen her get a lot of backlash recently because um, she said she was going back to her hip hop roots, which she shouldn't have said because you know, roots, hip hop, it just doesn't add up. You channel today well first of all i would like to say how are you guys doing it's been a while since i've sat down and actually done a regular video like this um i'm really excited to talk about what i have to talk about today so let's get into this before i start please like subscribe and let's go while i explain like how i'm doing this i'm gonna smoke this one before i get this started um you know it's usually like a hit or miss when it comes to years in music. Um, especially pop music, especially pop music. But I have a good feeling about this year as a whole when it comes to music, um, any kind of music. I just am getting really good energy from this year already, you know, and it's only March. Um, after listening to Solange's album and Ariana's album, I can just tell that this year is gonna be good. You, it, That's how it starts off. Usually, if you get like two, three good albums at the beginning of the year, I need an ashtray, holy crap. If there's good albums at the beginning of the year, then you're set for the whole year. So what I'm gonna be doing is telling you guys, well, basically predicting and just stating who I'm excited about and who you guys should be excited about. Um, so let's get into this before I start though. I want to know who you're most excited about. Like, let me know in the comments who you're most excited about. Album, single, whatever. Who do you think is going to have a good year? Um, I was going to predict, um, like, I was going to take, like, five artists and predict the kind of year that they're going to have um, musically. So let me know if you want me to do that. If so, I'll do it. But let's get into this because there's a lot to talk about. So I picked 10 people for this list. I'm about to put this out. Cause it can be distracting for sure. A good distraction. Number 10 on my list is Normani. Normani, her last few features and songs and stuff have been so great. She really has a um like uh, potential. She has a lot of fucking potent potential. Um, and that's just based off the little things that we have seen her done yet. We still haven't had a full solo Normandy album, you know? She's always been Fifth Harmony. And I never even listened to any of the Fifth Harmony albums. So I really don't know what she's really honestly capable of. And I'm really excited to see what she could do solo. So yeah, Normani. Number nine is Madonna. The reason she's so high up on this list is because I don't know for sure if we're getting new music or not because she's been saying we're getting new music for so long i'm just ready for an album you know it this will be my first time experiencing a madonna era as a madonna fan as a youtuber as just somebody that knows their place and what they like in music okay and i'm really excited about it i just wish she would give us like I don't know. When when artists give you dates of when they're dropping their albums and stuff, I mean, it can be good sometimes, but then sometimes just like, I don't know, you know? But, like, I'm excited nonetheless. She needs to give us something, okay? And come save pop music fast. Number eight on this list is XXXTentacion. You guys know how I feel about X. I don't care any of negative things that anybody has to say about X. I'm oblivious to it. Like, I don't even notice it. I don't care what anybody has to say about it. This is an artist that I stand, an artist that has moved me personally, and I would love that man to the day I die. And um, I know he has a lot of unreleased music, 
Um, so I'm honestly a little bit curious about what they're going to do and how they're going to go about that. Um, but if they didn't release anything this year, this is another reason why he's so high up on this list because I don't know if we're getting any new music from him this year either. Um, I know he has unreleased music, but where his, the state of his, um, his catalog right now, his music catalog right now, I like it. I love it the way it is, but if they didn't, I, you know, I wouldn't be mad. His catalog is vast and very versatile, so I could live off this for a couple more years, but if they decide to give us something, I will be beyond happy, you know, I love that man. Let's keep going. The next artist I'm going to be talking about is Miley Cyrus. And the reason I'm talking about this is because uh, I've seen her get a lot of backlash recently because um, she said she was going back to her hip-hop roots, which she shouldn't have said because, you know, roots, hip-hop, it just doesn't add up, you know? <laughs> but um, I'm excited to see what she's going to do because when she released um, Nothing Breaks Like a Heart, I was surprised. I was shook. I loved um, the Younger Now Miley, even though I didn't listen to that album at all or any of the other singles besides Malibu. I loved that Miley, you know? Um, but I think Miley is in her full, like, like state of artist legendariness when she is very creative with her music. Um, so I'm excited to see her go back to being creative. I'm really excited about that because we love bangers, Miley. We, tr we, tr we love that Miley. We didn't appreciate her at the time, um, but because it, she was ahead of her time. She surely was ahead of her time, you know. Disney star, you know, they said she was going crazy, but she was expressing herself, and I'm excited to see her express herself in 2019. The next, per the next artist, um, Katy Perry. You guys, I really think the Witness era was super overlooked, even though I didn't listen to the album. Again, it's another artist that I I regret not listening to that album when it came out. I haven't listened to it still. I'm going through Katie's catalog right now, so I will get to it. But I really think her Witness era was overlooked. The singles were iconic. The videos were iconic, you know? It was overlooked due to the fact that she, you know, shaved her hair which she didn't shave it you know she just got a shorter haircut and the bitch looked good i don't understand the negativity that she ever got behind that i don't know it it it, it was sad you know i felt so bad for katie in 20 it was 2017 she was just you know trying to live her best life and just people but it's it, you know it's been happening a lot recently to these artists that we grew up listening to and I, when i say we i mean you know 20, 21, 19, sometimes 18, you know, that, this generation of women, Nikki, uh, Katy Perry, Rihanna, Beyonce, like these kind of people, it's really been happening a lot where they're just getting so much backlash and for no reason. And it honestly sucks. So, I don't know, I just feel like um, she's gonna come hard. Like, 365 sounded so good. It sounded fresh, it sounded different. It almost sounded, it sounded like the old Katy Perry, but with a new Katy Perry twist, which, bitch, I'm intrigued by. And I just feel like she's gonna come full circle this era. I really do. I feel like this is gonna be one of her best eras as an artist, if she's coming. And that's, this is another prediction that I'm like, you know, giving out. I don't know if she's actually coming this year or not, but I hope so. <laughs> the next artist we're going to be talking about is J. Cole. J. Cole has grown over the last few years. Um, yeah, he, for, and I think it's due to the reason of the backlash. Um, I think he, he noticed that, you know, he was using a sound that was a good sound and it still is a good sound. All his albums sound great. Um, but the backlash that he received from, you know, just using the sound that he, he is so, like, good at using, it sparked something in him because this, the middle child, the middle child beat, the middle child flow, he sounds amazing. His sound now is the classic J. Cole mixed with, like, a current kind of, I don't want to say trap, but, like, elevated than trap okay i honestly think that he's coming this with this album and i i didn't listen to his album either kod 
still haven't listened to it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about I, I think I no, I don't have the C D either. But you know, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and listen to it. But I'm really excited about this new album. If there is a new I believe there is a new album. Yeah. Number four on this list is Beyonce. You know, this will be my first Beyonce era that I'm paying attention to Beyonce. Every era that Beyonce has ever had before, you know, I heard the singles, Sorry, Formation. I mean, I've heard the whole Lemonade album. I'm not going to front like I haven't heard it. Um, I've heard all her singles from all the other albums you know, on the radio. I grew up listening to Beyonce, but never in my life did I, like, go back and, like, listen to it. I just wasn't a stan, you know? But now it's changing for me, and I, I can't wait to be a part of this. Every time Beyonce drops an album, it's felt, and it's a celebration, to say the least. And I'm very excited to be a part of that celebration, um, and, like actually hear things as soon as they come out not hear it on the radio for a whole summer and think it's annoying because i haven't you know actually give it gave it the time i'm really excited about it um but yeah i'm sure a lot of people are excited about miss beyonce she always comes and like i said it's always felt every time she she drops you know it's like the music industry is like shook for a good year you know beyonce really runs the year that she drops to say the least, okay? The next person I'm going to be talking about is Miss Rihanna. We all know we're getting new music. I mean, she's said it on her Instagram in the comments somewhere before, and you know, everybody's asking, where is Rihanna? We miss Rihanna. Rihanna hasn't been on the scene since 2016, and I'm talking album-wise, I'm not talking um, just, you know, features and stuff, but we miss Rihanna, Rihanna, you know, that Rihanna that, takes over the summer, takes over the fall, takes over everything, and runs the charts for two and a half years, you know? Like, she's really, when it comes to albums, she has that, she has a really good ear for sound. That's what I was trying to say. She has a really good ear for sound. The whole entire anti-album is full of al or songs that you could listen to nonstop over and over again. I mean, that's me personally, but I really feel like, and she honestly changed the, um, how do you say it? The way, uh, like, mm, I can't say changed, but she, she influenced the way that, um, these R&B artists sound. Okay. Like you can't tell me that that's not true. Anti was a movement. Okay. And so many artists, uh, younger artists took that and, you know, tried to use it for themselves. And it works for some people, and that's why we stand Rihanna, because she is an influencer, period. <coughs> the next person is Miss Adele. Oh my god. You guys know how I feel about Adele. Adele is my she's my favorite singer personally she's my favorite singer you know i love her i absolutely adore adele but the thing is she's so unpredictable so i can't say if we're getting new music from adele or not but we all miss adele i mean if you don't it's understandable you know she has an acquired taste but i have never met anybody in my life who hasn't said oh okay yeah i like adele you know like i I've never heard anybody say that kind of stuff. But she is very unpredictable. The last time she dropped the album was 2015. She is another artist that this is going to be my first um, time as a YouTuber going through an era. I'm, I'm fucking excited, but like, like, I don't think people understand, you know, music for some people is so therapeutic. Music for some people is so, um, calming it's it, pe just people just don't understand okay people really don't understand and Adele has gotten me through so much so I know it sounds like you listen to Adele to get you through. yes that's I mean that's my kind of music I, it's not just Adele but Adele has gotten me through some stuff 
and I fucking love her. She literally sings one of my favorite songs of all time, which I'm doing a video about my top 10. I might do top 20 favorite songs of all time because top 10, it's, it's getting hard. I already started the video, like getting it together. It's gonna be hard, but yeah, we miss Adele. And I feel like she's coming. I don't know. I really have a high feeling that she's coming towards the end of the year and she's coming with a whole new sound as well. I feel like, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I just feel like she's gonna come with a whole new sound, a whole new her, you know? I'm fucking ready. Come on, Miss Adele, we've been waiting. The next person I'm going to be talking about, number one on my list is Nicki Minaj. You guys already know, like Nicki shaped the way um, I feel towards people. She's she has shaped the way I, my personality, not 100% to a T, you know, but like growing up, I always felt like as if I was like just out of pocket or just like a little bit crazy or something. But like when I see Nikki, you know, just like be herself and just like not give zero fucks, that was so empowering. And it honestly, like she honestly inspired me the most to make a YouTube channel because I just wanted to capture everything that she ever dropped. Um, I just really wanted to, and I feel like I already missed out on so much. Pink Friday, the pink print, Pink Friday, Roman Loaded, Pink Friday, Roman Loaded, re -up. I just missed so much stuff that I could have like done on my YouTube channel, but it's cool though, because these albums are felt deep down, you know? But that's not the point. That's not the point of this video. I just love me some Nicki Minaj. My, the point of my video is Nikki is coming this year. She is coming hard this year. Her tour is selling out. She's going the fuck off. And I don't care what anybody has to say about that. All of her so tours are selling. Thank you and please come again. Period. She's dropping these freestyles. Sounds amazing. Like, what? She, that is that hungry Pink Friday Nikki. And that's my favorite Nikki. okay? She sounds hungry. All these freestyles that she has been dropping sound better than the original songs. I don't care. I don't care. These are not unpopular opinions. These are facts, okay? These are just facts. And so I know she's gonna come hard on this next album. I'm so ready. I hope she drops a mixtape, okay? I really do. Let me know who you're most excited about on my list and your list. I mean, you know what, no, just tell me who you're most excited about because some people don't like the people on my list and that's totally okay. Let me know who you're most excited about. But I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. And I also wanna ask you guys, what do you think this year so far in music? How is it, um, how has it turned out? I think it's turning out amazing. Like I said, Solange and Ariana dropped flawless albums, and I just think it's gonna continue. But I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Bye, motherfucker.